Can a country with hot climate and limited water sources become self-sufficient in food all year round? The answer is yes, and it begins with one person or one family. Welcome, Welcome to Team Adaya's Garden! Garden! Take it from Filipino expat Jason Francis Adaya, who transforms his yard and garage into an edible garden. From a variety of lettuce to snow cabbage, he grows vegetables outdoors from November to April. And when summertime comes, he turns a part of his living room into a green oasis of nourishing plants through what is known as indoor hydroponics. Alongside my accounting career, I have nurtured a deep passion for gardening, especially in the area of vegetable growing. In 2020, I remember as the pandemic hit and, you know, families around the world were seeking ways to stay occupied. I stumbled upon a, you know, this uh, captivating video on YouTube about hydroponics. I got inspired by it and I saw an opportunity for my family to be engaged in a productive activity together. And so that began my journey in hydroponics. During the summer season in Qatar, Hydroponics is an effective method of growing vegetables indoors when a home gardener skips the soil and grows plants directly in nutrient-rich water. You know, although I was so passionate about hydroponics, you know, but you know what, my first attempt was actually a failure. Probably because, you know, lack of knowledge, plus I started in outdoor during scorching summer season in Qatar, and some other factors. You know, however, I, that didn't stop me. With those setbacks, I was so determined to succeed and I learned from my mistakes. I began you know, acquiring more information with the help of my fellow gardeners here in Qatar and in the Philippines. Adaya uses the crafty hydroponic method for growing his vegetables. This passive technique is great for beginners as it is simple to set up and doesn't require expensive materials or constant monitoring. For indoor hydroponics, these are the materials needed and these materials are actually available in Qatar. First, you need shelf to set up your hydroponics. You need LED lights to replicate the sunlight and you need styrofoam box and you need styrofoam cups. You have to cut into five slides and of course the plant nutrients and seeds. You will learn more about it when you join the workshop. Aside from the satisfaction of providing fresh, delicious, and nutritious food for his family, Adaya also finds joy in sharing his hydroponic skills with members of the Filipino community. His objective is to see more individuals and more families adopt the sustainable farming practice of hydroponics, not just for healthy eating, but also to contribute to a greener future. By conducting workshops, I hope I can motivate members of the community to also pursue their passion for gardening, to create their own garden here in Qatar, and maybe eventually put up their own hydroponics business in the Philippines. So to help me continue my advocacy, I have partnered with the Philippine Business Council here in Qatar to provide workshops on hydroponics farming to my fellow Filipinos. And who knows? In the future, I can also give workshops to other nationalities. That's one of my goals. In hydroponics, harvest time varies depending on the type of plant, growing conditions, and desired maturity stage for harvest. But according to Adaya, watching the greens grow from seeds to harvest is just as enjoyable as eating them with the whole family. You know what started as a simple vision transformed into a reality. And I was amazed that vision became materialized. And now we are enjoying fresh vegetables at home. Imagine if this will happen in Qatar and in the Philippines, uh, where every family has easy access to fresh, nutritious vegetables right in their own, own homes. With hydroponics, this dream, I believe, will become reality. So go ahead, start hydroponics journey and enjoy your harvest. Ready to grow your own veggies? It's never too late or too early, never too hot or too windy. Reporting from Al Hilal in Doha, Mary Villa Banza, The Peninsula. <laughs>